never free. That's never free. The crew was back there in the last 15 minutes or so since they have this article ready for me, reading it, freaking out. All the documents, the court cases, no one's ever reported on this. This is hiding in plain view. The White House has been alerting other media to this in the last three days, and we're the first to put it out. The White House is like, hey, look at this. InfoWars, Breitbart, Daily Caller. And I'm not blaming Breitbart, Daily Caller. No one's gotten around to it yet because it's banking. Well, Dr. Corsi has a degree in finance from Harvard and is an expert in banking. That's how he met Trump 42 years ago, was working with him on financing for hotels. The two know each other very well. Probably had dinner 50 times over the years. The point had, had dinner last year. The point is that InfoWars has a giant story that the White House thinks is important. And the crew is reading this, and I know why the other sites haven't gotten around to it yet. It's, it's some heavy reading. It's documents. It's court cases. Remember how they first got rid of regulations for housing loans in the 90s? That created a bubble. Then when it imploded, they made it way hard for smaller brokerage firms and other groups to actually, you know, go out and, and do the deals for houses. They created all these new fees and fines and Frank Dodd. That made it so they could then, behind the scenes, loot the hell out of the money, upwards of 10% of what comes through the two federal management groups, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, or Fannie and Freddie, as I like to call them. So you read this, it is incredible. It's a long article. They called it their pot of gold and just looted the hell out of it. They've got unsealed court documents in here. And my problem is I don't even have the support crew for Corsi yet. So he writes this stuff. We've got links to the documents in the Federal Register. We need to get some screenshots, obviously, of these, at least the headers of them, put them in the article, just so folks can see this for yourself. $187 billion in funds advanced to Obamacare through the Housing and Economic Recovery Act. Wow, just robbing the H-E-R-A. Man, this is so criminal. And the federal government convertible selling off the stock of GSE. Man, this is so criminal. 